Hey guys, Chance here with Complete Trailers. Chances are, if you've called us to ask about a toy hauler, you've probably heard us say, well, we've got the toy haulers, which come in a few options, but really it comes as one, one way in various sizes, or we can go the custom route. Well, behind me is exactly that, the custom route. It's the largest dealer for ATC in the entire country for the last half decade or so. Uh, our design consultants are all extremely knowledgeable and extremely equipped to, one, quote out a trailer like this that has tons of, tons of options, tons of details, and two, make sure that you don't miss something if you have an idea on what you want. You know, we, we say this over and over again, kind of corny, but if you can dream it, we can build it. This is a great representation of that mantra. And like I said, our design consultants have been strategically trained on all the ins and outs of, and workings of a trailer this complex to the, to the point of where we should probably give them a four-year degree in trailer design. That's, that's how important it is to us as a distributor. ATC is the, the manufacturer that we can provide you with exactly what you need. Things could be missed. You go to the wrong place, things could be missed. You come to us, that's not gonna happen. If you want something like this or have your own idea on a custom trailer, whatever it may be, from the auto industry to the commercial industry to like this thing, a desert rover trailer, as I would call it. That's exactly what this is. This is a toy hauler jacked up to be in the desert. It's awesome. And if you get paired with the wrong company, they may tell you they can do that. Believe you me, we can do it. Kind of the first and most noticeable thing about this trailer is how high it sits off the ground. That's because we made this a deck over design trailer to get the kind of ground clearance needed to go in and out of the, the dips and rivets in the desert. This trailer is going to be spending most of its time. Another thing with that is we have no fender on the inside of the trailer when we do that, so it gives more space. You don't really have that cumbersome fender in the way and you get more space on the inside. Plus, you know, the ground clearance you need for, for a trailer with its, its purpose. We also have a generator because this thing being where it's going to be, it's going to be totally off grid. So you've got to have a power source. We've got a 5kW generator, which is also what we put on our tour haulers. It's more than enough to power a trailer of this size with everything inside. And uh, Onan is, is the generator of choice here. They are commercial grade. They can, they can run anywhere in this enclosure. You shouldn't even have to open this. You know, All your mechanisms for starting the trailer, monitoring the fuel, filling the generator as the fuel tank is in between the axles there. You pull up into a gas station, fill up your vehicle, pull forward, fill up the trailer. So you don't even really have to get into that box for any reason. Everything you need is conveniently located on the body of the trailer and on the inside of the trailer to operate that. You know, Cummins, known worldwide, industry-wide, as one of the best generator companies out there. You, know, you see, probably wondering what this is. We will talk about that a little later, but that's a ladder to access the roof. You know, we've got a roof rack up there for cargo and extra water, extra fuel, whatever, whatever you may need. Bing, you're gonna be out in the middle of nowhere. You're gonna have to take extra supplies. Yeah, you're probably wondering what this plastic cover is here. That's actually just an aesthetic cover to cover up your LP propane tanks, because of course, who wants this sick blacked out trailer and then a couple of white tanks sitting up there. So you just put a nice little aesthetic cover on there. That way it goes with the body of the trailer. Everything's blacked out. You know, you would hate to have a trailer that looks this awesome with just some white tanks sitting on it. So that's all that is there. Pretty cool though. So I'm sure you noticed that everything is black on this trailer. Well, that can be confusing, right? Because Steel trailers generally are painted black. This is actually aluminum that's been powder coated. So this whole trailer, just like most of the ATCs we do, is all aluminum. Of course, it's lighter weight. The rust oxidization factors go away for the most part with aluminum. And uh, I mean, on a trailer like this that has the crazy, crazy amount of items on it, just that weight savings from having to be an aluminum trailer is, is huge help. I couldn't imagine what a trailer like this would weigh if it were steel frame. You now, if we walk around to this side, you've got same thing as, as a lot of trailers we've looked at. You've got all of your, your workings for water heater, city water fill. Uh, your waste tank evacuations are here as well. Also, we added a, uh, a fuel station right here, which we've seen on other trailers before, but being this is off grid and they're gonna have their, mo their dirt bikes, their motorcycles, all the crazy stuff, whatever it is out and about, having a way to fill up your, your bikes and your toys, whatever it is you're taking with you is Excellent, uh, is an excellent idea and uh, super, super user friendly as well. This is All right. So, I'm just going to show you how you take this ladder off here and we go throw it on the side of the trailer so we can look at the roof rack. So, you just unzip these little wing nuts here, as they call them. A kind of a funny term, but you know. And then it's an aluminum ladder. So, I mean, it looks huge and beefy, but it weighs next to nothing. Then it just slides right in there.
just like that. So once you get up here, you know, you've got your eight, eight and a half wide cargo racks. You've got plenty of storage up here for all kinds of stuff. We've also reinforced the entire roof so that it's completely walk on. There's a 150 watt solar panel up here that uh, helps charge the special lithium ion batteries we've got, as well as the various uh, 12 volt products. Keep those batteries full, which means you don't have to have your generator running all the time um, with, with those big powerful batteries and the solar panel, hopefully collecting uh, sun energy all day. So one of the things we did on this particular trailer, which is uh, technically not a standard feature on the Quest, the standard feature on the toy hauler, is we went with the spring ramp instead of the, the uh, standard cable style ramp for obvious reasons here. When we open this up, we've actually got the expandable room tent on the back of this thing. Being it's a, it's a more compact, 18 foot trailer, having that expandable tent opens up that space quite a bit for, you know, the evenings and whatnot when you're not actually outside playing. We're gonna start in the back here and kind of go forward since we were out here expanding the patio. I've deployed everything so you can see what kind of space you'd actually be dealing with in an 18 foot custom unit like this. Not a lot of floor space, but of course in the evenings, probably gonna be relaxing on the couches at the dinette. Uh, there's a, a prep for a, a TV satellite here. That way you could put in whatever brand of TV someone may want. Uh, this particular customer wanted to install their own TV, so that's why we just did the prep. But uh, each of these sofas and the dinette doubles as a twin size bed. So just a, a quick flip of the cushion. You can throw a twin size sheet over and boom, you got a bed. Now, they're actually pretty darn comfortable, believe it or not. But uh, and then a quick flip and right back to a sofa. So this is the exact same, more or less sofa setup that's in our uh, highly esteemed toy hauler line as well. So we've got various D-rings in the floor. That would be when all of these sofas and dinettes are flipped up, you actually have a decent, uh, decent hauling space with it being eight and a half wide uh, and no fenders on the inside. You could really get quite a few dirt bikes in here, believe it or not, and that's what these D-rings are for. So we'll kind of move forward you can see there's uh, some space taken up on the inside by that fuel station, but no wider than your sofas. Windows here, this is an egress window. Um, you can see the reason for the egress window, if you pull these latches, that actually pops off. It's standard on most campers. Actually, it's a requirement to have an escape window of some kind. That's what that is. You've got day shades. One more pull, you've got night shades. So it's kind of nice. You could have a little bit of um, lighting in here or, or black it out in the evenings and ready for bed. I will point out these lights. These are actually a brand new light. This is a 14 inch super loom LED light. It's actually much brighter than our old version of our lights. It does sit out a little differently, but uh, as far as the loom goes, it's extremely bright. Um, in fact, ATC informs us that these are the best lights you can get in a trailer at this point. So we'll kind of go forward. All kinds of overhead storage. This here is your furnace. Um, 25,000 BTU furnace, runs off of the propane tanks we pointed out earlier. Now this is the really cool feature on the trailer. So I open this up here and we've got a washer dryer combo. So one unit, washer and dryer, uh, functions just like any washer dryer, runs off your fresh water tank, dumps into your gray water tank. So it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome little feature, especially if you're out for a long time. Now with that kind of flexibility, you can stay out for as long as you want. You don't have to go back for, for anything but water and, and fuel at some point. But uh, with the roof rack and the amount of, of storage you would have in this trailer, you can keep a lot of water, a lot of fuel on board. So this is the dinette. It's a little different than the dinette you'll find in our toy haulers. That being, we wanted to stay at a certain height for this unit. So having a flip up table and also overhead cabinets would not work. So this just simply removes and screws down. So it's a little different design. Once again, these sofas here, or these uh, dinette chairs, fold down together to make another sleeping area. So pretty, pretty extraordinary. Like I mentioned, we were outside. You monitor and you start your generator all from inside your trailer. So once the fuel tank's up, you simply prime till the light comes on and fire. And monitor your fuel here. So the awning, as well as all the lights on the inside, they're all 12 volts. So they run off of those lithium batteries that we were talking about. So what's great about having a 12 volt awning is you don't have to fire up your generator, do any of that. All you have to do, expand the awning. And I'm not gonna expand it all the way out because of the, uh, the wind we have here. But uh, 
pretty awesome to have everything 12 volt power. Go ahead and shut the door here, which has a nice gas shock on it, so you don't have to worry about latching it back. You don't have to worry about, once again, wind blowing your door open and shut. A screen door as well, if you want to have that open. On a nice cool night, you can have the patio open and you can have your screen door open and actually probably won't even have to have the air conditioning on so you can get, get nice natural air in here. We do have uh, AC on board. So like I said, with everything deployed, it's a little tight in here, but uh, this is our kitchenette area. So we've got sink, microwave convection oven, fridge freezer, runs off propane and electric. A little bit of overhead storage. Now what's up in this overhead storage? It's not super usable, but here's your 50 amp breaker box you know, that is attached to your various electrical outlets throughout the trailer, as well as lights and AC and all, all those different, uh, different items we have here on the trailer. So under here is one of the best upgrades we did on this trailer. We, we upgraded to, of course, they're way more expensive than the standard AGM car battery that you'll find in most trailers, but these are lithium ion batteries. So what you get with those is a lot more power um, and longevity. And with that 150 watt solar panel on top, you can keep those things charged up pretty easily. All right, so here we've got the bathroom. Now, of course, it's, it's a compact bathroom, but that's because this is a compact trailer. We still got a full sink, a good amount of storage. Of course, your water heater is down here. So everything's got to go in kind of uh, intuitive places when we're working in such a small space. But you, know, you do have a 12 volt fan there to get some airflow into the trailer. All your monitoring for your tanks, for gray water, black water, all that, your water heater control is all here on the inside. Um, it's the best place for it. It's not gonna be out on the outside making, uh, making an eyesore for such a nice trailer. So with the shower, it's actually pretty darn spacious. Even with the, uh, with the constraints we had for, for how big we could make this bathroom, having a decent sized shower, I'm not the biggest guy, but uh, you can see me in here decent amount of space I'm a little broad I guess all right and here is actually the little monitoring panel for the solar so you can actually see that we've got a full charge on the batteries you know connected to our solar panel there so just a nice little way to monitor how much juice we've got from solar it's pretty awesome all right guys thanks for taking the time to watch our video here awesome trailer just a taste really of the of the complex things that we do and what we can do for you if you have an idea give us a call one of our uh, ridiculously knowledgeable design consultants will be able to walk you through the whole build process, the exactly what to expect. In fact, we can even take you up to the uh, manufacturer, which is like going to Boeing or something so impressive, and walk you through and show you step-by-step step how your trailer would be built. Now, there is so much we can do for you. We would love to earn your business. We've got convenient locations throughout the United States, so chances are we're probably close enough to your backyard for you to come visit us. But uh, like I said, give us a chance to earn your business. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, these videos make sure you turn on the bell for uh, notifications when we're doing videos they're just going to keep getting better and better follow us on instagram we're posting great stuff our facebook is awesome um, we would just love your guys' support and we promise you we'll take great care of you thanks